Robin Schrute, head coach of Rosenborg. How does that sound? I think it's exciting uh, for me personally, Eric. It's uh, it's something that I've had to face fears and uh, and be true to the values that I live by and to have the opportunity to represent this amazing institution um, is extremely exciting. How has the process been? It's been three months now since uh, Steiner Lane left his post. How, how has the process been for you? It's been challenging um, and extremely rewarding to be part of a superb collective of staff and uh, of course the girls on a day-to-day basis just to try and help them love playing football and develop in the game that we all love and to try and play a part in the like incredible identity of the football club and the proud name so it's it's been it's been a roller coaster but extremely joyful uh, in in January there's a vacant uh, position as a head coach in uh, Rosenborg uh, in public you announced that this is not a role for you. What has changed from no to yes during this past months? I'll be completely honest. Like at, at the beginning, I was, I was honest, and I'm not afraid to to admit that the the three main things that were in my head were one that I wasn't as good or near to the quality of Steiner. Two, it was um, I had a very difficult personal family situation at home over Christmas and into the new year um, which kind of rendered my own future a little bit uncertain um, because of course my family is in England and yeah will always be the priority but I think number three I didn't share it so openly but I I struggled with mental health issues as a player and from a young age um, often as a result of things that I experienced because of head coaches that I worked with and people who were responsible for my development so I in many ways was extremely fearful of um, of being in a position that would potentially put other people through the same things that I went through and I'm not afraid to admit it or accept that that was maybe always at the forefront of my mind to not do this position um such was the like trauma that I went through as a player. I I didn't ever think that I would I would want to be in a position of responsibility like this. But we also we also are very clear to the girls and the the public and the staff that we believe in risk taking. We believe in playing with courage and being bold. And I wouldn't be able to stand up in front of them and communicate those things if I didn't live them myself. So I have to accept those fears and part of me that hopefully provide me with strength and what is right now for for you as a, to be a coach of what is right for the group that you are the head coach i think the overwhelming support from uh the 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 staff and the players who are just exceptional um like we've made we've made it really clear that we want to be like one big unit and together and share these common values like power power is not something that sits comfortably with me and like being a being a not sharing the responsibility that we all have to contribute to moving this ship forward and i think that we have been really clear as a as a club to try and move those values forwards and whilst things take time and like to to empower people throughout an organization it's not an easy thing it's like day after day after day the main criteria is that we've seen that everyone wants to buy into working that way which has empowered me and prompted me to say yes to doing this it's been quite a journey for you from uh, starting in uh, Rosemary in 2021, uh, coming to the academy first and then uh, swifting to assistant uh, and then now head coach. Tell us a little bit about the journey you had and also uh, the team, the girls. Yeah, you know, I was very fortunate after I finished playing. Um, to be honest, it was probably one of the lowest points in my life, like the the the... I'd just fallen out of love with playing and just loved coaching players and pe- working with people too much. And I, I 
I was probably at the fittest I'd ever been as a player and I could have played for another 10 years but I it was an easy decision for me to move into coaching when I was given the opportunity to work at a club that I've always followed from a young age from England like it was just it's a, a, yeah like living the dream every day to be honest um, so to have experienced the different roles that I have here and been here and worked with such incredible people who have given me like new new sides to myself that I maybe didn't realise it's um, it's been eventful but just extremely exciting and privileged to to be here and be part of something so fantastic with so much potential you said a little bit about it but if you ask uh, everyone around there to say one word about you on the, uh, as a coach then passion is one word that many will uh, tell tell us uh, what could you say about your coaching uh, how you are as a coach I think I I probably learned age 16 when I had been through the academy journey in England and I'd fallen out of love with football like I was depressed and really struggling with some mental health issues at such a young age and I just I, I had the opportunity to start working with young kids in South London and all I wanted them to do was know that they were loved and love playing football and then how can we help them do that on a daily basis make them feel good make them believe that they can do things you know be demanding set expectations show them that we we care and love them first and foremost that will always be the most important for me because I think of the experiences that I faced throughout my life have shaped me to be the way that I have and just this love for football and trying to trying to put people in the best position to also just love playing football and to get the best out of themselves every day and achieve things that they never thought that they could. You've been a part of the team now for a lot of years. You uh, have a good development in the team, won the cup last year. How will uh, how will we de- develop coming this season and the years ahead? How do you see the development? I think the most important is that we are extremely focused on development of people and of our identity as a club so the most important is that we try and build every day on the day before and that's just improving the players as as human beings like setting them up for life and also to to make them better footballers and play in a way that is exciting and brings the best out of them so like we we are so clear about saying nothing is guaranteed like adversity is certain life is unfair and things will change we are clear that we want to help them become better footballers and play an exciting brand of football every day one that requires taking risks one that requires being bold and uh, you know outsmarting the opposition and we have to try and improve on that day after day after day and remain disciplined to that process uh, in short terms, we have possibilities in the league. We have possibilities to defend the cup, and also we have uh, Champions League qualifications. What are the goals for this season? For uh, do you see? I think as I kind of referenced just then, the most important is to we as a club are always expected to win, and that's how it should be. We want to be true to the identity that the club has, and that we have created amongst the players and the staff this shared identity and that is just to become better every day and hopefully the more we can take care of improving those things and the objectives that we set then the results will follow football as we all know the opposition have a vote we play against a different team every week who tries to stop what you do so how can we be flexible and adapt to try and overcome the challenges that we face in order to achieve our objectives and uh, Robin Good luck going forward. Looking forward to having you for another seasons. Thanks, Eric.